Hey cuties, I'm Lanikia and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. Today is Thursday, May 26, 2022. Um, and this is the Days of Our Lives edition of What Happened on the Soaps. All right, guys, so let's get right into it. I'm not going to hold you long because it wasn't that much. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this, um, I'm going to give it a 7. I'm going to give it a 7. Um, again, I'm not going to hold you long. We see that Rafe and Nicole um, talk about how are they going to tell Holly because he, Rafe does not want Holly thinking he's just stepping in or whatever. So they sit down, they make breakfast, and they tell Holly, and she's happy. She's happy that they're doing it. She tells them, um, she tells them, when are y'all going to, like, y'all should do this soon. There's no point in waiting. Go ahead and get married. And they're like, okay. And so then Rafe leaves and everything, and Holly is just like, Mom, but I do have a question for you. And she was like, what, baby? And she was like, uh, what about Eric? Won't he be sad about this? And so then we see that Nicole goes to speak to Eric. I told you I'm not going to hold you long. So Nicole goes to speak to Eric. Now, Eric had been talking to Sarah earlier, and he told Sarah that, you know, he might not be a priest anymore, but he's still all about forgiveness. And at one point, you know, before she was able to forgive Eric and Xander, and he thinks she could do it again. And she says, at this point, I don't know how I could forgive him. And she said, you found it in your heart to, um, to you know, for, to forgive him before. And so, you know, you know, Eric always about just let it go forgive, you know, trust that they meant, they didn't mean to do you harm, yada, yada, yada. All right, so Sarah gone, Sarah leaves, and Eric goes by his way, and then he bumps into Nicole or whatever, and she was like, oh, I'm glad I caught you before you left, and she says, I have news for you, and he was like, what's up? And she said, I'm getting married. Rafe and I are getting married. We're engaged. And he was like, oh, okay. Well, I have news for you. And she was like, what, what is it? And he says, I'm not going to Africa anytime soon. And the look on Nicole's face, <laughs> the look on Nicole's face, I said, Rafe, kiss your woman goodbye. Like, go ahead and let her go. Because Eric's saying, like, and Rafe already a little bit insecure when it comes to Eric. It's OVA. All right. So then we see... Um, I'm just going to stay on this storyline because we were talking about Eric and Sarah. So then we see Xander is trying to call, talk to uh, Sarah. She she picks up on him just to say, stop calling me and hangs up. And so then he runs into Chanel and Lonnie. Now, Chanel and Lonnie are talking or whatever. And they are talking about, you know, Lonnie is just like, Chanel says, you look, you know, you don't look the best. And, and Lonnie was like, well, my, um, my husband was shot by my daddy. My daddy got shot by my mama, and my mama's in prison. And then my daddy, you know, Abe, got his head busted open. I'm like, how am I supposed to look? And Chanel was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And she said, Lonnie was like, my bad. I shouldn't have took that out on you or whatever. And she says, no, I get it. And so Chanel and Lonnie are talking or whatever, right? This is going to be a mess right here. Because Chanel is just like, I can't. She said, the last time when my daddy was, you know, died, my mom said, we're going to get through this. She said, but I had my mom. It was the two of us to get through this. She said, now I don't have anybody to get through this. You know, I don't have her. She's locked, being locked up. And I can't do this without her. So Lonnie was feeling real guilty. So she was about to tell Chanel what went on. And then here comes Xander's butt. Um, talking about, Chanel, I need to talk to you. And she said, um, what, what do you want? He said, I need you to help me win um, Sarah back. She's not picking up my phone calls or whatever. And she said, maybe because she's busy and she don't want to be interrupted like you're interrupting us is what she implied. But Xander is all about Xander. Oh, I can't stand Xander. I know y'all like him, but oh, he gets on my nerves. <coughs> or or whatever. So he don't stop Lonnie for telling Chanel the truth or whatever. Because I said, y'all need to tell people. Like, y'all need to tell people. The people y'all need to tell, y'all not telling. And when they find out, they're going to be ticked off. So anyways, Lonnie just says, um, they listen to Xander talk about what he undid to Sarah, and they like, what? And Lonnie said, listen, I got to go. <laughs> I got to go pick up Eli from the hospital. And Chanel said, we'll I'll talk to you later. And Xander was like, what's that? What's that all about? She was like, mind your business. Now, what you trying to do? He said, I need you to help me win um, Sarah back, because he said, I was married to you. He said, I can't get women to do nothing I want them to do, but you got me to marry you and everything. And so Chanel said, well, the only advice I can give you was, um, what did she say? Um, stick with it. <laughs> she said, you just got to stick with it. Keep trying. Um, 
hang in there is what she said hang in there and he was like what kind of advice is that so she leaves and then sarah comes up and she's like i wanted to talk to you or whatever and if this is a bad time he was like no 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 you know Sandra thirsty self said this was a good time so he and chanel uh i mean he and sarah gonna sit down and talk or whatever and that's it with them y'all so then we go to um Okay, so we were talking about Lonnie, so we go to Eli. So Eli is, he he's fully dressed or whatever, right? And he go down to speak to Abe. And Abe is like, did you did you talk to Lonnie? Did you talk to her? What, what, what's going on? And Eli's like, don't worry about it. Let's talk about it when we get out the hospital. But Abe won't let it go. And so Eli says, no, nah, she didn't kill, um, she didn't kill T.R. Polina did it. And Abe said, what? Like, no, nah, that's not what I heard. <laughs> Me either, Abe. He said, I heard her say, what have you done? He said, I know Paulina said that. And she said, and what about her, the way Lonnie said, she said, Paulina said she shot TR. He was like, it was just a misquote of words. It was a, you know, misquote in words. She didn't mean it that way. And he said, and he said, not for nothing, Abe, you've been in the hospital these few days for a reason. And he said, oh, you trying to say, I don't remember because I was knocked out and I'm, I'm, I'm not, I would, you know, I, I'm, my memory is bad and all that because of that. Um, he said, so you might've been thinking it happened, but it might, Paulina might've been talking to TR. And Abe said, no, nah, I could have swore she was talking to, uh, Lonnie was in the room when she said it and everything. So anyways, Eli done convinced Abe that, you know, Paul, that Paulina did it or whatever. And he, Abe was like, it wasn't that I was trying to blame Lonnie. And, he, and Eli was like, no, 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 I understand. We just were both curious. And I said, I don't understand why y'all not telling Abe. Why, like, why are y'all not telling the truth about this? Because the people you're not telling Chanel and Abe would keep your secret. But let's move right along. Um so then now Abe is still fully dressed in his hospital clothes, still trying to get checked out. Like, um, Eli done got checked out. He just waiting on Lonnie to come get him. Abe is fully, it hasn't got checked out yet by Kayla. So then we see Eli is over there. Uh, he went back to his hospital room and Lonnie comes in with the wheelchair or whatever. And she says, you know, you're free to go. And then he tells her about her, com the conversation with Abe. And she tells him, I am so worried you know about chanel and not telling the truth and all this lying and stuff and, and she said chanel you know needs her mom and all that eli <laughs> said that eli selfish he said listen <laughs> chanel's a grown woman <laughs> He said Chanel is a grown woman. She'll be okay without her mama. Our kids are they got our kids are young. They got 17 years. They need you in their lives. She'll be okay. I said, well, dang, Eli. <laughs> Tickle me. But anyways, let's move right along. So Chanel, I mean, so Eli and uh Lonnie agree, don't tell. And he just tells her that he convinced Abe um uh, that she didn't do it. So then we go over to the um jail, right? the holding is it the holding room interrogation room i don't know what room they got paulina in but she been in there for days <laughs> but so justin um is coming in with paulina and she said you was denied bail ma'am <laughs> that your appeal was denied and she said what what am i paying you for justin and he said well next time you want to go and have somebody killed in your apartment don't go and confess and sign this stuff without your lawyer now he untold told paulina i don't believe this statement at all i know you i now he didn't say it but he said it without saying it you lying ma'am you did not shoot this man he said because first of all um to get into lonnie's holster you would have had to um they have a button on their gun and everything and you would have had to been able to get um unsnap the button and then pull the gun out. And he said, "You said Lonnie didn't feel none of that." And she said, "You know, I, I, it, she said maybe Lonnie didn't snap it or whatever. It happened so fast or whatever." And Justin said, "Tell me the truth." He said, "You know what? Don't even tell me the truth, cause um, I, it's better that I don't know." He said, "Now nah, they're gonna be looking over the defense gonna be looking over this for the fine tooth comb." So you, better, he was pretty much telling Paulina, "Get your story together, ma'am." And she tells Justin, "Thank you. Now I'm paying you top dollar." Cause Paulina thought she wouldn't didn't get bail, cause she rich. He said, "No, ma'am, cause you confessed to killing a man. <laughs> That's why you didn't get bail." I love me so, Paulina. 
I do. I love me some Paulina. He said, you you confess. That's why you ain't get bail or whatever. And so Paulina is just like, you. I'm paying you to get me out of here. Get me out. And he said, it's going to be a slow. Um, what did he tell her? He said, it's going to be um, a slow process. But he says, um, it's a long, slow process. process. Don't make more statements without your lawyer. And so then Paulina is waiting on, I guess, Justin to come back. I don't know who she's waiting on. But um, it ends up being Abe. And I said, how is Abe? Because, you know, I'm telling y'all in bit in bits by people. But it's simultaneous at the same time. I said, how is Abe out and in the jail? Like he said, I just got discharged. Well, sir, whoa, where are you out? And, and well, I guess it took Lenny a t long time to come back to the hospital. I just be... I just be needing the whole storyline to make sense. But anyways, because I was like, how is Abe out? And he on made it over to the jet, the interrogation room to visit Paulina. And Lonnie and them were still at the hospital. And um, Eli was discharged before Abe. But anyways, so then he on came over there, right? And he on pretty much told Paulina, I love you. And I, that's what I was coming there that night to tell you that I love you or whatever. And Paulina told him, um... You know, I'm I'm going to prison. I could be going to prison or whatever. And he said, that don't make no difference to me. I still love you. And I'm still, you know, I'm going to hold it down for you or whatever. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> what is like? P.O.P. P.O.P. Hold it down. No, nah, that's not it. What is it? All right, never mind. But anyways, he said, I'm going to hold it down for you or whatever. And I said, this ain't going to end well because he already told like uh, told about lying and stuff like that and this is another lie that she's telling but i guess he could forgive her because it's for lonnie but i don't know y'all but that was days of our lives uh y'all tell me what you think don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel even if you don't subscribe no worries i'll still be doing these videos for you but hit that like button for me i'll see you tomorrow friday's episode bye